Hi guys, my name is Pasa Motella. I'm in 5th grade at Harmony Science Academy, Sugarland. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the layout of a piano keyboard. Here we have a full-size piano keyboard. It has a total of 88 keys, 52 white keys, and 36 black keys. The piano sound goes from low to high as we play from left to right. Now look closely at the piano keyboard. Do you see any patterns in there? Well, we can see that the black keys are organized in sets of twos and threes. And this pattern repeats throughout the whole keyboard. Each set starting with a white key and ending with a white key is called an octave. And there are a total of seven such octaves. Octave number one, octave number two, octave number three, four, five, six, and seven. Piano notes are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet. A through G. What I have here is a worksheet that resembles one octave of the piano keyboard. We have the white keys here and the black keys here. Now let's assign the names to our keys. The white key left to the two black keys is called C. Then we go in alphabetical sequence. D, E, F, G, a, B, and C. This is obviously B. Now that we have assigned the names to our keys, let's identify them on the keyboard. Now let's demonstrate. We have the two black keys here, which means this must be C. Then we go in alphabetical order. D, E, F, G, A, and B. We've named our white keys. But what about our black keys? Black keys are usually, but not always, used to play what are sharps and flats. Sharps are a half step higher in pitch and are specified as flats are a half step lower in pitch and are specified as Now that we've named our keys, let's start with C. We have a C here, a half step higher is C sharp. We have a D here, a half step higher is D sharp. We have a F, a half step higher is F sharp. We have a G, a half step higher is G sharp. A, a half step higher is A sharp. Now on to our flats. Let's start with B. B a half step lower is B flat. We have a, we can also tell that B flat is the same as A sharp. We have a A, which means A flat, which is the same as G sharp. We have a G, the same, which is G flat, which is the same as F sharp. We have a E, which means E flat, the same as D sharp. We have a D, a half step lower is D flat, the same as C sharp. Now that we have named our keys, let's play it on the keyboard. C sharp, the same as D flat. D sharp, the same as E flat. F sharp, the same as G flat. G sharp, the same as A flat. And A sharp, the same as B flat. Now that we know the names of the keys, let's learn about fingering. We can use both hands to play the piano. The left hand typically plays the left half of the piano and the right hand typically plays the right half of the piano. The middle C, which is the middle of the piano, separates the two halves of the keyboard. The thumb is always finger one, then we have two, three, four, and the pinky is number five. Let's play the C major scale, which starts with a C and contains all the white keys until B. That's it for this lesson. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.